All right, all right. How's it going, you guys? It's your boy New Age here with some more uh, showdown that are in sessions. I want to say, if I'm not as enthusiastic, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I just got off work. I'm struggling to stay awake, but I work like early. To I'm just busy this week, so I want to get in. <laughs> I want to get in as much uh, as much chill recording times as I can. So I figured, hey, let's do some showdown. Let's get it going up on the channel. Like I said, I wanted to do that more often. Also, I'm gonna start doing Wi-Fi battles too. Maybe before I move, but for sure after I move when I get more settled. So we'll have Wi-Fi battles and showdown and the Let's Plays going. The channel's, channel's picking back up with the uploads and all that good stuff. I'm happy about that. So anyways, we're up in some NU today, uh, doing some doing some fun stuff. So here's the thing I want to say. I've always known Volt Turn is a thing, but I've never tried to like abuse it very well. I don't know if there's a certain position that you put yourself in to get yourself to do it a lot, but I want to try and do that with this game. So we got uh, Volt Turn uh, core with like Lantern and SD Scyther. Um, then we also got Sheer Force Life Orb for attacks Tauros. Gonna wreck through some teams after we Volt Turn on them. Uh, we got a specially defensive Regirock, a physically defensive Vile Plume, and an offensive rapid spinning Claydol, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it, was, it was actually kind of fun to use when I tested it, um, tested the team. So that was pretty legit because it has like max speed and it's Colby Berry. What? I mean, 75, I guess, is not bad in this tier. If you're max speed with 75, you're chilling. Everything else is like super stuff. All right, so let's. Uh, that's what we're going with today up in the tier. So uh, let's let's see what battles we can find. All right, we got a game. Um, let me see. I also don't really know win conditions for this team. I think the idea of this team is weaken the opponent's team and then just go ham with like Tauros or even Scyther. Like could put in work. But let's see. He does have a Regirock. I feel like that's a little, eh, I guess not too hard for this team to beat. We got Vile Plume, Claydol, and Lantern. Skunk Tank, how do I beat that? I feel like I'll have to beat that with Regirock or something. Yeah, definitely. Or Tauros, somehow. Anyways, um, I don't know who he wants to lead with. I'm thinking Scyther would be a cool lead. Pretty sure I outspeed, uh, which one is that? That's not as elf. That's Mesprit. That's right. All right, yeah, we all speed with Scyther. I could always just lead Scyther, get a U-turn off. That'd be pretty cool. And then maybe go out into Lantern after that. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Let's go straight away for some some Volt Turn stuff. All right, let's see. Cause I know this thing can get like Fire Blast or something. Unless that's. Unless that's uh. As of, but I'm actually wondering if he's gonna get up rocks here, and if I could just kind of like switch. U-turn does like half to this thing. It's crazy. What if I'm up plus two? Is it really worth it? All right, cause like if he rocks here, and if he stays in, or if he switches into something, then what? Then I just U-turn anyways. I think I'm gonna SD. Yeah. All right, he's gonna go Reggie Rock, so that kind of sucks. I mean, that's obviously a thing. Um, but I'm gonna U-turn, I think, into Claydol. I don't really think Regirock can touch Claydol. Damn, that did 26%, that's crazy. Well, is he specially defensive Regirock? Uh, all right, let's see, a standard Regirock against offensive. Oh, that's normal on this tier, that's crazy. I didn't even know. I mean, I should be able to wall it unless it has like a. Yeah, <laughs> you think I'm just gonna let you thunder wave me, bro? All right. Um. The only thing he has to take a Earth Power is like Mesprit, and he can't touch me otherwise. Part of me wants to double into Scyther, and then just do the same thing all over again. I mean, not really. I'll like U-turn. Yeah, cause. I'm not gonna 
I don't think I'll do that much with uh, Shadow Ball to mess with it. Yeah, I don't. And Signal Beam, oh my gosh, does a crazy amount. See, I'm gonna double in the Scyther here. Expecting him to maybe go mess with it. He actually goes for rocks. He was gonna stay in? Yo, I 2 hit KO you with Earth Power. What the hell? What's wrong with you? I mean, that's cool. I can always get rid of rocks with Claydaw. It's it's whatever. Is he gonna T-Wave again? That'd be hilarious. Okay, he stays in the Stone Age. That was a lot. Ugh. I'm just gonna rapid spin here. Cause honestly, I mean, how much can he really do to me? Not much. He has to keep hitting me with Stone Edge. If he switches out here, trying to expect my Earth Power, I'll at least get rid of rocks. So I'll have to come in and do it again. Cause I can't really Earth Power and Rapid Spin because that does too much. Oh, that's right. He has Skunk Tank. That is the thing. Uh. Completely forgot about that. Earth Power does up to 90%, and with the Culper Berry, he can't do much to me. Am I faster? I guess we can find out this turn. If he's max speed, I'm not faster. But if he's not, then I am. I'm not Earth Power. Yeah, so we are faster. And he's going to Dark Pulse. Culper Berry is going to activate. So we are going to live that, and then we're just going to Earth Power again. He's going to go Mil Tank now. So we do know our clay doll is faster than a skunk tank, so we can knock that out. Unless it has, I guess he could have had sucker punch, but if he did, he would have went for it there. So clearly he does not have sucker punch. Um, here, I think I just want to go Regirock. He doesn't have a switch in for a uh, thunder wave. Yeah, definitely like that. I think Regirock is like a good wall for this thing too. I'm definitely... I think I want to go Stealth Rock, actually. I'm going to T-Wave. He doesn't have an answer for it, and if he wants to stay in, then I'm faster than him next turn anyways. And I don't mind the Toxic because we have Heal Bell in the back, so we're chilling. Okay, and he has Heal Bell. Way to go. Alright, well, now what? You think he has Earthquake, then? I'm going to stay in Encounter. Yeah, he's going to switch out. Alright, that's cool. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna go Vile Plume right now. I don't mind forcing him to switch. That's just more Stealth Rocks damage. And honestly, he doesn't really have switches for this unless he goes into his own Vile Plume. I mean, he could go Mesprit, but I still feel like Sludge Bomb is gonna do a decent amount. Vile Plume Sludge Bomb is strong. Maybe not to Mesprit. I'm hoping so. Yeah, Sludge Bomb still does like 40%. I'm going for that. So I actually go Skunk Tank. I'm hoping this will kill. Yeah, it does. So Skunk Tank is gone. So what was that? Like his Defogger? Psychic does knock me out. So I don't really hmm. I think I'm going to have to go like Lantern or something. Psychic still does so much if he's Life Orb. That's crazy. I can go Lantern and get our Volt turn going on. Oh, never mind. Oh, he got a Spadef drop. That's annoying. He is Life Orb though, but we have a lot of special defense. We do have Leftovers. Okay, we are faster than him too. What? 284? Damn, this thing has no speed. Yeah, this thing literally has no speed for us to be faster than him. So he's definitely got like HP investment. I don't know what he's going for here. So I feel like if I go Scyther, Psychic does a decent amount, but it's definitely worth the damage we get off on him. Oh, never mind. Why is he doing nothing? All right, I think here um, I do just want a U-turn again because we do so much damage. All right, there we go. We're getting we're getting some Volt Turn going on, and with the Stealth Box, it's like if he wants to keep switching out, he's gonna just keep taking uh, damage. So that's pretty chill. I like that. And next time we go Lantern, we can try and like Toxic or something. If we can get rid of the Mill Tank, that's like all he has to heal Bell. So that's pretty chill. All right, so last time he stayed in with his Reggie Rock. To get up rocks. So if he wants to do that, he's gonna die. 
I don't even care. So he's gonna go straight into mill tank this time. We're gonna get some decent damage off on him. Um, so he has Toxic Heal Bell. I don't know if his last move is Earthquake, but from what I can tell, he's either gonna Body Slam or Toxic. I mean, honestly, our Regirock can't do much to this thing. I feel like Vileplume is a good switch here. I just... I don't want to take Body Slams like that. Especially when I can, like, Bull Switch or something, you know? But our Lantern isn't, like, physically defensive. Let me see. Lantern versus Miltank. Yeah. Body Slam does a decent amount. And then I would go Toxic there. I wonder if he's Sap Siver. I don't think that would matter though. Alright, so he doubles into Regirock. I don't know why. What was he expecting there? I was either going into my own Regirock or like Vile Plume. I'm just gonna Scald here. How much does this do? Uh, Scald can't knock him out. He might get up rocks again. But, okay, he just forfeits. Or leaves. Whatever, whatever. I honestly don't know if I was going to be able to win that one. Just because it was like a lot of back and forth. But, you know. I'm still learning stuff, but it's chill. I enjoyed the battle. Let's find another one. I still didn't get a chance to bring in Tauros last game. I wonder if, like... I feel like I was playing that a little too defensively, but I also didn't want to start losing my stuff. Like, I wanted to bring Tauros in, but I wanted to weaken his team a little bit more first. But this team looks a lot more offensive than what I've played so far, so it's a little sketchy. Um, Lipard lead is annoying, especially if it wants to T-wave something. So I'm thinking I might lead Lantern and just Volt Switch. Or Toxic. I think I might lead Lantern and Toxic. No, I really want to just full switch. I'm just going to do that. Because he's got to lead this. And they do get Taunt. I'm just going to full switch. Okay, he's going to fake out. What? Is he going to stay in? I'm going to Toxic. Oh my gosh, of course he's switching out. Maybe he'll go Quagsire though. Yeah, he is. Alright, cool. Well, that works. Does he have anything with a uh, heal bell on it? I don't think so. Does Miss, Miss Magius doesn't get heal bell, does it? I feel like it does for some reason, but I also feel like I'm being stupid. <coughs> It does get heal bell. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It was in there somewhere. All right. Um, I think yeah. I'm just gonna go vile plume here. Okay. Well, <laughs> that worked. Um, I think I'm just gonna go sludge bomb. He doesn't really have a switch in. I don't know what he would want to go into here, but. Something, yeah. I was hoping Pyroar, because Pyro will take a lot from that, and he gets poison. So that's awesome. Um, I really don't feel like we have a switch on this team, especially if he's like Sunny Day with Solar Beam. That's crazy. If he's Sunny Day Solar Beam, we have like no switches into this thing. So who would I be cool with letting die? <laughs> I guess Claydol, but let's see. I like those moments when you like go to calc uh, a set and you see like the name of the the set like you type in Pyroar and it's like destroyer of all NU teams Pyroar and I'm like what how am I supposed to beat this then oh my gosh yeah we get <laughs> thing blows us back ugh You know, I'm just gonna go Regirock. I mean, if he's like... Okay. Well, never mind then. <clears throat> I was gonna say, if he's like offensive like that... Whew! I'm just gonna Stealth Rock. 
because now he can't for one I don't even know if solar beam I guess solar beam knocks me out well no not if he is yeah let me see yeah because solar beam would only knock me out if he's life orb but if he's life orb he can't solar beam me in one turn so and he didn't get the sun up so this thing kind of just dies I'm gonna get on my rocks in case he wants to switch out because then it dies when it comes back in so I am cool with this and now Quagsire well now he doesn't really have an answer to Vile Plume. kind of kind of want to go back into Vile Plume. is that bad <laughs> I don't really think so <laughs> I mean, he could burn me, yeah, but that's like the extent of what he could do. Um, I'm definitely going Giga Drain this turn. If he wants to switch into Pyro, I don't care, it just dies. And nothing else where he wants to take a Giga Drain? Maybe Miss Magius? Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, well, that's dead. And now I can Volt Switch freely. So he's going to go into Miss Magius. Um, I don't want this thing to Nasty Plot on me. I really don't. Ugh, the resistors are real. How fast are you? 339? <clears throat> I don't think that matters anyways. Ugh, I might have to just stay in and attack this thing. I can't even hit it hard as the thing. I mean, Giga Drain does a decent amount, so whatever. Yeah, hell no. I'm not just letting you nasty plot in my face for free. Get out of here, bro. And I do have Pokemon that are faster than you, so I could come in and revenge kill you. Oh my gosh, he's Hex. That's terrifying. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, now I have to see... Tauros, what can you do to kill this thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tauros, you're a monster. Well, Iron Tail one-shots. But do I really want to rely on that? Aerial Ace one-shots. <clears throat> as well. Damn, Scyther, you strong. 339. Oh, really? That's a speed tie? That's messed up. If he's at plus two, he can't kill me, though. I really don't want to lose a speed tie. I, <clears throat> I guess it doesn't matter. Because I... Scyther doesn't do much else other than probably... Like, it could beat Lipard, but... I have other things for that. I'm gonna go Scyther and risk the speed tie. I'd rather risk the speed tie than risk, uh... Tauros missing. Yeah, alright, cool. Because at least that's 50-50. Alright, he just... You know, no need for a sack. No need. <clears throat> alright. So here, um... I think I'm just gonna go Regirock. Let this fake out heal me real quick because he just is going to spam fake out. And then we're going to go lantern on a potential um, T wave. Maybe U turn. But you know, we have rocks up now, so if he wants to keep taking damage, that's chill. He's definitely going Vigoroth. I have no idea what Vigoroth does in this tier. Yeah, blank set. Okay, cool. That's helpful. Um, Vital Spirit. I guess I'll just Volt Switch. I'm kinda scared of this thing like setting up in my face. Okay, it has Earthquake. Oh, but we live in! Oh! Uh! Alright, let's see. Well, it's definitely gotta have like Eviolite, right? Like. Lanterns, Volt Switch. Volt Switch did 34%. Is he not Eviolite? Okay, he's not Eviolite. Wait, did it show his item? No? Okay. Um, well, he's 306 speed. Taurus is faster. I'm pretty sure Rock Climb just destroys this thing. Yeah, it does. Earthquake can, but let's just go. Let's let's bring in the man Tauros. Actually, I want to check. Would Scyther's U-turn have knocked it out? No. Okay. And Aerial Ace wouldn't have either, so we're going to Rock Climb here. And he's gonna let this thing die. Alright. What was he expecting there? And why did he just go back out into Vigoroth? Oh, he's scarfed. I understand now. I understand. There was no way Low Kick was killing me, though. So now it's 5 on 1. 
I, I really don't think this thing could kill me. And we are gonna earthquake. All right, damage. I'll take it. It's gonna earthquake bag, knock us out, but it really doesn't matter. Now we go play it all, and we win. GG. Nice, nice. Yo, team came together. I guess this team does better against offense? Possibly? I don't know. That guy kind of like, just let a lot of his stuff die for no reason. But, it's chill, it's chill. Let's find another game. All right, we got a game. Um, Archeops is scary. I guess not, we have a Regirock that also has T-Wave. Um, Kadabra, I think is scary, possibly. How fat? I mean, Kadabra's gotta be like Focus Sash, so I guess that makes it scarier. Kadabra Revenge Killer. <laughs> There's those titles again. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Focus Sash, Magic Guard, Revenge Killer. But Artoros does outspeed him and does enough damage with Rock Climb to kill it twice. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Maybe we won't. I feel like we might have trouble against Rodham. Rodham Frost always gives me trouble. And, you know, potential Shell Smash, um, that thing. So I think I kind of want to just lead Lantern. He can't touch me with Rodham. Yeah, Lantern is definitely the lead. Especially if he wants to just lead with this thing. Hello? Um, let's see. Scald actually has a chance to knock him out, so if we could get the burn, he just dies turn one. Um, also, this thing is fairly weak, so... Alright, if he's plus two, though, Earthquake will knock us out. So I have to keep that in mind. Um, but we are most definitely Scalding here. Okay, so he's not um, Shell Smash. He's bulky, supportive, whatnot. So, based off that... Let's see. No, okay. So let's say like, like Scald should knock him out without any investment. So he definitely has that bulk. All right, maybe not like Max Special Defense, or maybe I mean he's got some Special Defense, or it's a naughty nature. That's why. Okay, yeah, that's more like the damage. Um, so Volt Switch. I think could knock him out based off that damage, and we do have speed him. I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Because he might switch anyways. I mean, if he wants to just let his Rocker die. Granted, if he doesn't die from this Volt Switch, that kind of puts us in a bad position. I guess not horrible if we could go, like, Claydol. Because we take the Rock move, we have Levitate for Earthquake, he's not going for a Bug move. So we do just knock him out here. So that's pretty awesome. He doesn't have a Spin Blocker either. Um, I know if I go clade all that just brings in Rodham, so I don't want that. Um, let's see. I'm thinking Regirock might be good. That keeps out Archeops and Perugly. Um, and allows me to potentially pivot back. It also keeps out... Well, if he brings in Rodham, that lets me pivot back out into Lantern. So, I think if we go Regirock, that forces him to go Alkazam or... Rodham, which is what I want, because I can pivot into this. Let's start the timer. All right. So let's see what he wants to do here. And if he goes into something else, he's a madman. That's okay. <laughs> we take those. Okay, he goes on, you know, he's a madman. Um, well, if that's the case, what are you going to do to me? I'm actually scared now. This thing's got to be like his cleric, so I'm assuming it has heal bell. But forcing him to go for heal bell is kind of cool too. So I'm gonna T wave. He could also get paralyzed this turn. Power of punch. Hello. Do you not see that I'm a register? Uh, register? A regirock? All right. Well. It, it's like Audino is so bad. I'm just considering going out to Claydol to spin real quick. I'm doing that. Also, Claydol kind of does nothing this game. Like, really, really nothing. So, I'm going to get rid of these rocks. He's going to knock off. We have Culver Berry. Oh my gosh, I did a lot. Um, 
I swear I don't need this thing for anything. It does nothing. Like such a little amount of anything, it's not even funny. I'm just gonna side shock, get off some damage. Oh wow, that did nothing. So he's gonna knock off again, take us out, that's true. Um, so now... <laughs> Alright, we are going to Sludge Boom. He doesn't have a switch for this. If he wants to go uh, Cadaver, that breaks his sash, so that's amazing. And he gets paralyzed here, so we're gonna Sludge Bomb again. Audino's dead. Alright, well, that's cool. Alkazam coming in now. I don't really have a switch for this. I mean, Cadaver. Yeah, I don't really have a switch for this. I feel like Regirock is not even a switch either. Like, it's scary. I knew this thing would be a problem. Uh, Psychic? Psychic might not knock me out. Well, 2 hit KO me. If that's the case, I can get a T-Wave off. How much does he do to Lantern though? That's what I really want to see. About the same to Lantern. I feel like we need... Mm, no, I feel like we need Regirog more than Lantern, to be honest. Honestly, if he... Actually, how much does Scyther take from Psychic? Not that much. And we... Speed... What are we speed tie with everything? Alright, I'm gonna go Lantern and Volt Switch. I definitely need Regirock more. Granted, um... Lantern really helps against Rotom. It basically walls Rotom. Unless it has Toxic, or unless he is, uh... Trick, but... If he brings out Rotom on me, I'm just gonna Toxic. So... We're chilling with that. So let's see what he wants to do here. I mean, if he wants a Volt Switch, that's fine. Like, stuff on his team is gonna take damage. Um, also, between Scyther... Okay, he stays in and lets me break his potential Sash. I mean, I'm saying Sash because that looks like the damage of non-life orb Kadabra, so... Um, I'm gonna go Tauros now, and I just get to kill something. Right? Yeah, most definitely. Alright, so we get the sl slow uh, Volt Switch off. We're faster in this thing. Unless it's Scarf, but Psychic isn't knocking us out anyway, so... We're chilling. I mean, show me, show me your switching. Oh... Oh... Okay... We just missed two rock climbs. Alright, well... Now we have to take damage on Scyther, or win a speed tie. That would be some nice justice. Okay, he switches. I mean, I'm cool with that too. You take crazy damage from that. Um, and I'm going Lantern. and just going for Toxic. In case he wants to trick me or something. Or if he wants to switch, I'm cool with that too. And Empower. And Empower what? Hello? <laughs> um, Alright, so I could still beat Alkazam. Or, why do I keep saying that? I could still beat Kadabra. I just need to keep my sight there healthy now, so, um, I'm just gonna Volt Switch, what is, what, what are you going for, what hidden power are you going for, I'm just gonna go Bioplume, and then double into Lantern, I feel like Lantern is the onion rings right now, he's still hidden powers, what's wrong with this man, was he, okay, Maybe he was choice and was just like, <laughs> it's just like, screw it. You know, Ronald doesn't do anything. Is he gonna fake out here? Like, do I really need the sack like that? Oh my gosh, why is this thing so fast? Maybe I'll go Valp. I really don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna let him fake me out. He's life orb, okay, good to know. Let's see. Rugly. Nah, this man life orb, not silk scarf. Uh, let's see. Doesn't do much to Scyther, actually. But let me see the damage on Vile Plume. Because he doesn't really have switches for Sludge Bomb. And Sludge Bomb does a lot. And Vile Plume is who I'm willing to sack next because it loses to Kadabra and I'm pretty sure it loses to Archie Ups. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb here. 
That does a lot of damage. And he can't really touch. I mean, return is his best move. Or. Hello? <laughs> okay. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, crazy guy. Alright, um. I mean, yeah. After this thing beats Perugly, it loses to these two anyways, so I guess no reason to keep it. Um. Sludge Bomb again? Okay. So now it gets to come in and revenge kill me. This is gonna be a close one, I feel. <clears throat> um. I don't really think there's a point in keeping this, yeah. He's 350, so he's faster than. Okay. I'm gonna sludge bomb again. What the hell? This man is crazy. Okay, well, he lost his item now. Um, I'm gonna go Reggie Rock. And I think just Thunder Wave. I'm, I'm hoping that's the right play. He's gonna knock off my leftovers, but now he's paralyzed. Um, and now we Rock Slide. This should hopefully put him into Defeatist. Um, or, <laughs> yep, that's Defeatist, all right. All right, so honestly, yeah, because I don't think, I don't think Kadabra would have taken Rock Slide well anyways, because I was going to say, um, I was going to say, oh yeah, Rock Slide would have knocked him out if he switched into that. That would have been his only way to try and win still was going to Kadabra and try and kill me, but even then, like, Psychic doesn't kill me. I don't know. I don't think he has anything that would kill me. So I'm gonna try and T-Wave. Yeah, so now I'm for sure faster with Scyther and we just knock him out. But Rock Slide also knocks him out, so. All right, well, there you go. Cool. So Regirock pulling through in the end, for sure. Uh, Scyther would have definitely cleaned up in the back as well, so. Not even bad. Coming through with the wins. I like it. Let's get another game. All right, chairs aired. Uh, there's a lot of things on this dude's team that I don't like facing. Shiftry being one of them, Mantine being another, and Chairs aired. That'll be kind of interesting, actually. Also, he has an Electivire. What do I even do against this team? Ugh, I don't like it. All right, how do, how do I win? <coughs> Scyther can definitely put in the business <laughs> later on. Um, can hit Shiftry, hit Monchan, do solid damage to Mantine, I'm sure. Probably knock out Charizard. I, I actually want to know this now. Charizard, Scyther. Uh, not quite. It can get close. Do like 36 to 42. So with rocks, you know, that's definitely a range of something. I don't know who I want to lead with. I really don't. Maybe Claydol? Unless he leads Shiftry. Claydol is decent against his leads. Tauros will be cool to come in and just start firing off moves like a madman. Vileplume would be chill to force some switches later and get some damage off. Also, he doesn't have a rocker. Notice that too. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Claydol. As he leads Hitmonchan. Alright, hold up. I don't wanna just rush into stuff here. Hitmonchan versus your boy Claydol. Okay, Ice Punch pretty much knocks me out. That's terrifying. Um. But. Doesn't look like. Wait. It doesn't look like he has much for. Oh my gosh, why does that do so much to Lantern? Drain Punch. Yo, wow. Is that really my spread? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, he could basically knock me out with Drain Punch plus Ice Punch. That's ridiculous. And I can't even Volt Switch. Yo, why is my team just walled by this? Um. Damn, dude. I guess I'm gonna go Lantern. And just go for Toxic. Yeah, he's gonna Ice Punch. Oh, maybe he's not 
that invested. Oh, that's Adamant Iron Fist Life Orb, that's why. I mean, Ice Punch did 14. He's not Life Orb, so we know that much. Okay, well, I'm just gonna Toxic. What? What are you? What are you doing, guy? Oh my gosh, that's that's crazy. What the hell? Okay, at plus one, we know we're faster than him too, so he might be adamant. Drain Punch can actually knock me out here. Um, Volt Switch does not do much to him. How about Vileplume? Vileplume is not faster either. That's unfortunate, because Sludge Bomb does a decent amount. Alright, hold up. We got my man Skither. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, we're eating these even at plus one, and Aerial Ace knocks him back. So let's go Skither. He's going to Drain Punch. Take nothing. There you go. Now we're working the business. I'm going for Aerial Ace. <laughs> Send in your wheezing. <laughs> Alright, alright. I didn't do as much as I thought. <laughs> um... I kind of don't want to let Regirock get burned. What do I have to beat this thing too? What the heck, dude? Weezy. Um. <laughs> Sorry. That's what wheezing sounds like for those of you who are wondering. Um. I mean, low-key this guy can't do anything, but also I really want to get up rocks. Like, oh my gosh. He could be faster than me too. Weezing around speed in this tier with taunt? What's wrong with these people? These people are vicious. I'm gonna go Claydol. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. Let's see if we can make some plays here. I kind of want to double. How fast is Shiftry? Cause Shiftry definitely blows me back. 80. Okay. Um, I kind of want to double back into Scyther, if anything. Yeah, I'm doubling into Scyther right here. Oh! And now we U-turn. Oh! <laughs> there we go, mate. Yeah, we need to make plays on this guy if we wanna if we wanna get him because his team is pretty scary and could definitely wear down our walls fast with like his coverage. Lantern kind of does nothing this game except maybe beating Charizard like towards the end if it stays that long. Can also do damage to Mantine. Gotta admit, gotta admit that's a thing. Okay, he's sashed. My dude. Okay, um... Well, that's a little annoying, actually. Alright, so is Vileplume the answer here? Vileplume may very well be the answer, actually. I am going Vileplume. And he's gonna knock off. Actually does less than the Calc said it would do. Um, here, what does more to Weezing? I'm gonna laugh if Sludge Bomb does the most damage. It does, let's click Sludge Bomb. Okay, he's just gonna knock off twice. Um, I don't really think that matters. I swear Valflin does nothing this game. It's slower than Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan can, what seemed like one shot me with Ice Punch. I mean, he has like a million Ice Fire flying moves on his team, so. You know, file plume. Okay, so we're going straight into this now, huh? I'm just gonna sludge bomb. Like if he takes me out, so be it. All right, and now, uh, <laughs> do we go into the business? Is it time? <laughs> Everyone's like, who is this business he speaks of? All right. Uh, Charizard. Swords Dance or Special Attacker? I don't know. What I do want to know is how much does Tauros do? Mmm, that's a lot of damage. 
Wait, what does Ch Chair's Dared Special Attacker have? Oh my gosh. Wow, he still does nothing. Alright, I want to go Regirock. Um, I definitely... Actually, I definitely want a T-Wave. Okay, so we're going into this now. Okay. Hit, 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 Merchant. That's not what set he is. All right, we know he's not Life Orb at least. Drain Punch still does a lot, but well, I mean, also he could have Rapid Spin. That is true. All right, we'll have to save this fight for another time then. Is he gonna Ice Punch? Like trying to predict, like a cool guy. I'm gonna Stealth Rock because that forces him to have to Rapid Spin later at some point, and I like that better. Um, do I care if this thing is burned? I care more actually if he's paralyzed. I'm gonna try and T Wave. For one, find out if. Okay, yeah, he's for sure faster. We get him paralyzed. Um, and I think. I just wanna go straight into Lantern. And get off the heal bell. Because I don't think I'll get to do it any other time. His Hitmonchan is scary, but I think with Scyther around, we're chilling. Okay, so we're gonna heal bell here. Weezing might even get paralyzed, or he might just switch. Yeah, he does just switch into Electivire. So we get off the heal bell. Alright. So Electivire. Huh? What can you do? I don't even want to see this to my lantern. Alright, so Earthquake kills me. And how much do you do to Claydol with Ice Punch? Okay, so Ice Punch kills me. <laughs> um, Ice Punch actually shouldn't knock me out from full. And Earth Power will pretty much knock him out. How fast are you? Actually, yo, Tauros is faster. I could just fire off an Earthquake. How much does Tauros take from Earthquake? It does take a lot, but I don't think he has Mog Punch on Hitmonchan, so I don't think we need HP like that. Also, I kind of want to keep Claydol just to attempt to take a hit from uh, Hitmonchan. He's actually going to power up Punch. But you die. Actually, whoa, whoa. Cancel. Rock climb knocks him out. We're going rock climb. Hell yeah. In case he wanted to switch. Why would he even stay in? There, there was no reason for him to stay in there. All right, Electivire is gone. That's amazing. That thing had crazy coverage on us. Um, once again, we're going Lantern, and we are just going to... I really want to go clay doll, but Himonchan. All right, you know what? Himonchan really is not a problem. It's toxic, and Scyther one shots him. So I think I want to go clay doll and just go for Psy Shock. He doesn't even have a switch to this, anyways. And if he wants to go Mantine, fine, fine. I've been wanting that to come out anyways, so I could get a free Volt Switch off, which I can now that his Electivire is gone. <clears throat> I might actually Toxic if that's the case, but, you know. Like, he's definitely got a Defog at some point. I actually might double into Lantern now. Yeah, I'm straight up doing that. Because Weezing can't do that much. It kind of can with Sludge Bomb, but I could always Volt Switch on this if he stays in. And if he goes Lantern or Mantine, then damage. Okay, he's going to Willow with me? Hello? Why are you staying in? Why are you crazy, man? I don't care if this is burn. I'm gonna full switch. Get off damage. Go Claydol. Go Psy Shock. Uh, your boy's paralyzed. Honestly, though, Psy Shock. Okay, he forfeits. <laughs> I was gonna say, Psy Shock probably does a decent amount since it hits on the physical side. I actually wanna check. Yeah, that game was pretty much ours, to be honest. And Psy Shock does alright damage. Yes, Psy Shock actually does alright damage. Not even lying. 28 to 34 plus the rocks. Yeah, we take those. We take those. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. We uh, we for sure had this game. Um, 
especially with rocks up it was definitely getting to the point where basically him on chant as aerial ace charizard with rocks um and aerial ace is in range of rock climb wheezing wasn't going to be able to beat our entire team on its own and mantine i don't think could I mean, Tauros had to have hit it for like a huge chunk. I actually want to check real quick, just to know. Yeah, Rock Climb's a 62 to 73. So, I mean, after Stealth Rock. Yeah, after Stealth Rock, he was for sure dying. I mean, he couldn't roost off that damage anyways, so. I'm pretty sure we had that one. I don't know why he didn't go out into Mantine sooner and try and get rid of the, uh, Get rid of the hazards, but that's chill. That's chill. So we made some progress on the ladder. Not bad. I mean, nothing, nothing but wins as far as I, I can remember. <laughs> so another successful ladder sesh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment down below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. See you guys later.